Hi everyone, it's Jody, and I have a tutorial to show you on how I made um, this rose on the card that I showed in my last video. And what this uses is two punches, and these punches are by Miguel, and I've got these from Archivers. There's an Alpine Snowflake, and then there are the floral, uh, floral petals, and there's four sizes of petals on the punch. And then also what you're going to have to use is just um, some sort of a foam pad. This is the little one that comes in with your piercing tool from Close to My Heart that I've had, so this is what I used. Um, it's just got to be something that's fairly, you know, giving. And then you also have um, this tool here, and I just got this from Archivers as well. Um, it's called the Petal Roller slash Outil. I think it's how you pronounce it, but it's by Imaginus. This is the um, the package that it came in. And so on one end, you've got the round ball. On the other end, you've got the little slit in here that holds your paper for, you know, paper tooling and whatnot. So it's absolutely perfect for, um, you know, for your rolled roses and holding your paper. Um, and then the other thing that I use is my tweezers. And um, glossy accents is what I use to hold the flower together. Okay, so you're going to need just one of the Alpine Snowflake punches. So it looks like that. And then um, you're going to take the petal punch and you're going to punch it out six times. I've already got some punched, so I'm only going to punch it once, but um, so it shows you, punches out all four sizes. And then you're going to take your your little foam pad and your, your tool with the uh, the ball end of the tool. Sorry, I hit the camera. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to start, you know, just rolling with the ball um, in the flower in a circular motion, you know, all around, and it'll start to curl. And then once it's kind of, you know, nicely, nicely curled up, um, just take it, at, you know, starting with the end here, just kind of pinch it in half, and then take the other end of your tool or whatever you have to roll the flower with, and then just roll it back. Hopefully I can get this in. I don't have my glasses on, but okay. Okay, so it ends up um, looking like that. And you're going to do that with the largest one, and then the second second one down, and then the third one down. So all six of them you're going to do that same same thing with. And then when you get down to the very smallest one, um, I just I just used a ball. I didn't you know curl anything, so I just got it you know into this little curled shape. And um, I think I used three in that shape. And then you're also going to need to do three of them where um, you don't use the ball end. You just go ahead and, you know, put it in your tool here, if I can see it. And then you're just going to curl it. Just make sure that you're curling it to where the pattern or whatever um, side that you want your rose to show in is on the outside. Okay, and just do three of those. And so I've already got some all prepared here. So I've got six of each of these, um, you know, three of the small ones, three of the rolled ones, and then I've got the, the base here. And I'm going to go ahead and just put some of some glossy accents down on a piece of paper here. A little pile of it on the paper. You can use your glue gun or just or whatever you would like. Just something that kind of dries quickly. And what you're going to do, just starting with the largest petal, um, you've got six of the petals, and then there's, you know, you've got six um, stems basically, and you're just going to glue um, one petal to each stem. Okay. And you're just going to keep going around until you've got, you know, all six of them glued. And so it's going to end up looking, you know, similar to this. 
And then we're going to go starting with the next size down. And you want to stagger, stagger the, the petals. And I don't glue it all the way down because I don't want a huge space. So just fairly, you know, kind of centered here. I'm going to get more glue on it. Okay, you're going to go ahead and glue in um, all six of these, just, you know, going around in a circle. And then you're going to end up with one um, looking similar to this. And then you're just going to, you know, keep working all the way around here. I'll put a little bit more glossy accents out. So we're just going to keep going on. And you can judge. You may not use all the petals, um, just depending on how yours turns out. Of course, they all are going to come out differently. I should have used my hot glue gun for demonstration purposes. It dries quicker than the glossy accents. Okay, I think I'll go ahead and use the last one. Okay, so now I've got um, the smaller ones, second to the smallest ones. I'll glue it in the center there. And then what you're going to do is just take the last three of the little ones and put them in the very, very center and just kind of form a little area for your little rolled ones to go inside of. Okay, kind of like that. And then um, the rolled ones, I usually will just kind of take a couple of them and just kind of intertwine them around one another. And go ahead and get some glue on the base and just stick it down in there into the center. Okay. And like I said, you could use, you know, two or three, just depending on how your flower is coming out and what you want to do. So then once, you know, once it's thoroughly dried, um, then you're just going to want to go ahead and take your tweezers. Um, and then I just take them and I just kind of roll back the petals and just shape it, you know, until you're satisfied with how it looks. And if you decide that you need to add some more petals here and there, you know, go ahead. Um, and the one that I did on my card, I had also um, inked. And I didn't ink it until after I was completely finished with it because I didn't think about it until then. So you can do it at the end or it probably would be easier, you know, before you get started in gluing everything in to go ahead and ink the outsides of the leaves. So, yeah, just go around the edges. You know, turning them, like I said, you can add a few pieces here and there if you're not satisfied with how it looks. Um, but anyways, that is how you make the rose. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.